What is up YouTube? Jeep and Bubba here and today we're at the Landmark Jeep Jam 2022. We're expected to have 73 Jeeps that are registered to go ride on Charlie's Creek today and I've got uh, about eight or nine volunteers so we're gonna have 80 vehicles today on Charlie's but we're doing it the right way. We got Tread Lightly here giving a talk, we've got permits and we got the DNR out there and they're gonna be watching us and uh, making sure we do everything right which we will. So getting everybody geared up we're going to give a safety briefing here shortly and uh abby's ready to wheel ready to wheel abby yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right let's get going travel responsibly stay on the trail key to remember that every time you're off road are respect for others there's going to be a lot of you out there together there's going to be people not part of your group who are also up. how many jeeps do we have like 50. That's a lot. escort through Helen got us through the city it is Oktoberfest so it was pretty busy it's pretty cool rolling through with such a big Jeep parade I think our final count was 45 or 46 Jeeps we had um, a little over 80 people registered some double registered so we didn't get the numbers we thought because we thought they thought they were registering for the, um, the ride but they were like when they're supposed to register per Jeep but it worked out fine last year we had about 100 and it was you know a little more chaotic so we, still it's a big number to get through here so we got about 45 um, Johnny's running ahead so Nathan went ahead of all of us and put up signs that way you know everywhere to turn and then Johnny goes ahead of me a few minutes just to warn anybody um, that's ahead of us that a there's a big group coming the left side of the trail. and then we're communicating through uh, GMRS radio so you can hear them talking right now um, and it's just the trail guides all the trail guides wear these bright orange shirts and we have them like every seven or eight vehicles we have one of our trail guides in so guys with recovery gear and some knowledge of the trail charlie's is pretty easy but we just want to make sure there's a lot of novice and first-time drivers and some that are, have experience but a lot of them are in stock form and we just want to make sure they have a good day and um you know respect the trail and everything's good so um, i have the people from behind me from landmark they're doing some filming you, mm, you can't really see them right now but they should be having a cool video come out as well so so far so good um we made it here pretty good time uh, i got brandon in the back tail gunning for me and he's communicating um we got micah and andrew and um a bunch of good folks that came out today to volunteer that are helping communicate and get everybody through i think there's some motorcycles that are going to try to pass us but obviously we want to share the trail it's a public road um like i said earlier we did get the permits and did get uh, the park rangers out here today so absolutely trying to do the best we can to, to treat every, everything with respect uh, when you're taking this many people through a trail so uh, charlie's has been graded so it's really really easy oh first motorcycle this section of charlie's used to be really rocky and gnarly and when we did the traverse we ran it the other direction but it was pretty difficult um to get through here with the trailer so that's good for what we're doing today uh if you want a little something a little more extreme this isn't your trail uh you know maybe you want to go to uh beasley knob or something like that but um yep it's a nice easy ride today
if you're unfamiliar with the event we're doing today, um, we actually filmed it last year as well, but it's put on by Landmark Jeep and Dodge. And basically what they do is they invite out their customers to do a ride on a yearly basis. And they do it in the fall every year. They provide t-shirts and some awesome grab bags, lunch and everything. And it's absolutely for free. Um, you just have to register. And uh, I believe it goes to their website, but you can contact Landmark Jeep and Dodge if you have any questions about it or would like to ride. Um, and then what they did was that tread lightly come out today. They get permits. They get the sheriff's department out here. They get a DNR out here. And um, they hire us to come out and, and help guide because they want to make sure that everyone's safe and has a good time. So it's a cool event. Um, it's not my normal thing to want to bring, uh, you know, 50 to 100 vehicles out on a trail, but they did it the right way. So it's kind of uh, makes it way more enjoyable. Hey, look, Creek Crank. called up. Looks like we're backing up at the big water crossing right now. Waiting on folks to cross. We made it through the creek. We made it down uh, the road. We're at Tallulah River Road now, about to take a right and head towards Persimmon. And we're just letting a few of the Jeeps catch up. So far, so good, no real issues. So we're gonna keep on rolling. made it back and the jeeps are rolling in now they have a lunch prepared for us they're doing raffles some giveaways some awesome stuff i just like to say thanks to landmark jeep for having us out and letting us guide everyone that came out to the event all my volunteers thank you thank you thank you we couldn't do it without you and uh, had an awesome day if you were at scottles and bottles sorry i missed you but we might have saw you today nicole was set up down there with with andrew from the black Bear trail team so hope everyone had an awesome day and uh, thanks for tread lightly for coming out so Remember, hope there's an adventure in your future. Eat your prunes. I'm Jeep Bubba, and we'll be seeing you.